we have so far discussed the trigger like what is trigger how to write a trigger what are the trigger events what are the trigger context variables right this video we're going to talk about some best practice that we have to follow when you write a trigger okay so trigger basically has a framework right and as i said trigger will not have your business logic will have hardly like 10 15 lines of code which line each line will call your uh, apex class method like class name dot method name very simple okay so uh, that's the framework right and because one single trigger will have uh, all your business logic and sometime when you have a big project right uh, what happened let's say uh, the lead object is the main object correct and there are many functionalities that you have defined from the lead object you will find that the number of lines of code that you have to write it's like many many right so we write something called trigger handler where we have the handler logic and we call the handler from the apex trigger cool in this video we will see how to set up this framework right if you are calling a handler method apex class method from your uh, trigger then what would be the signature how do you call how do you pass the value how do you uh, do all the checking and all we will see in this video okay so i'll quickly write a trigger on the uh, lead object the name of the trigger should be what lead trigger correct that's what uh, should be the name trigger lead trigger on lead object and event is let's say same events I have given before insert and after insert before update after update event. okay now um, uh, let's have a requirement first right because everything that you do you have to uh, come up through a requirement okay so let's say business is not entertaining any leads from the website as of now so you cannot create a lead with source as web that's what i have to do okay i have to write a trigger which will not allow you to create a lead if the source is web that's a very simple requirement all right you'll get an error so for that i'm going to write a apex class first all right so let me write the apex class here i'll go back to my here uh, the developer console and i'm going to write a new apex class see the name should be lead trigger the apex class name should be lead trigger handler Th these are the standard name right that's how you have to name it correct uh, so once you give the name it will create a apex class and here let's say i have a method method name is public static right um check lead data okay that's the name of the method very simple and then i have to start the method here got it now how can i call this method this method has nothing so far how can i call this method inside my trigger you know right it just class name dot method name because it's a static method i'm going to go here to my trigger right this is my trigger um this is my trigger i can come here and put class name dot method name copy the method and method simple if you save this see there will be no error okay because syntactically if everything is fine your trigger will just call your method. that's it that's what i'm doing okay now the question here is this as i told you same trigger will have all your events and you let's say want to execute this method only when the record is inserted before insert by the way if you have to showcase an error message that you cannot insert a lead with a status or like source is equal to web so what should be the event event should be before insert i mean whenever a record gets inserted before the record gets inserted you have to you know call this method so how can i do this see here i'm not going to write i'm not going to check like in my previous video we have seen how to check the before insert before update here inside the trigger itself but 
ideally we should do all this checking in the apex class not in the trigger trigger will just call the method that's it so in case if you have to check if you have to do all the checking in your apex class you have to pass right you have to pass all this before insert before update variables inside your method correct so to accept to, first of all to pass this variable what you have to do is you have to write here trigger dot is before okay comma trigger dot is um insert because i have to call this on before insert correct and how do you check understand this line how do you check what is the value of lead source when you create a lead you have to check right what should be the value of lead source which variable will help you to get the value of this lead source that you are entering you remember trigger dot new trigger dot new is the variable which will have this value right you have to pass trigger dot new now the moment you click on save you will get an error any idea why you are getting this error method does not exist incorrect signature hope you got it right why i'm getting this error because my method this is my method i have not defined anything in the parameter how can you pass the values in the parameter this method is expecting nothing in the parameter but when you are calling it from your trigger you are passing some value so we have to make sure you should be able to catch that value whatever you are passing while calling that method you get it so how do you this is where you remember we have learned like how to call the parameterized method how to pass the value the parameters with those videos we just have learned how to do it in this video we are going to um, implement it right so whatever value that i have passed over here i have to go and one by one catch it how do you receive the value in your class so this is a boolean this this variable trigger dot is before will return either true or false so it's basically is returning boolean variable right boolean value so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here take a variable called boolean is before comma boolean is insert comma uh, trigger dot new is what trigger dot new is nothing but list of lead understand this okay this is something you have to use a lot in your apex code so trigger dot new is nothing but your list list of lead because i'm writing the trigger on lead and give a name let's say new leads whatever it is save it now this apex class and this apex method is expecting this three boolean boolean and list of lead values in the parameter correct if you go here now and click on save this error will go got it because it is matching with the um the signature the very first thing that i'm going to do here is i'm just going to go and print it this is what exactly you have to do before you even start writing the code you first print it you first check whether you are getting correct value here or not so i'm going to put system.debug and i'm going to i'm going to just going to print these three values plus this copy right and I will copy this. Yes, I will copy this. Right. So I just have printed this three thing. Okay. Now I have to make sure I'm getting correct value in this variable. How do you make sure? How do you run this? How do you make sure that you will be able to execute this three line? Is what you have to create a new lead. Hope you are on same page, right? If you call, if you create a new lead. This trigger will fire how many times? Twice before insert, after insert. All right, because both the event have given here, and both the time this will print whatever you are passing in trigger dot before trigger dot is insert. So by the time of before insert, I'm asking this question to you, right? By the time of before insert, whenever you click on this save button, this will create some record. This will insert the data, right? And when you insert before insert will fire first, then the after insert. A question to you is: Whenever the before insert happened, what will be the value here? True or false? True. What will be the value here? True. What will be the value here? The entire lead data. In the case of after update, after insert, what will be the value here? False. 
trigger dot is before will be false in the case of after update sorry after update or after insert whatever yes and then this will be true 